You looking at that poster? They're an ugly old thing, aren't they? I happen to know that fella is the farm in the swamp, or trying to, up by Siltwater Strand. He's a bad egg. How do you do, Fancy sir? Fancy that. I seen them coming and going here, and I never had an inkling. Hello. Hello. Thank you. We ain't going till you get this right. I can't, Daddy, please. Let him in. He's been trying for hours. He ain't no kind of man till he can get on a horse. <laughs> I can't do it, Daddy. He spit. <gasps> They're here for your bounty. <gasps> Come to Mama, boy. Shit. Don't shoot. I'm unarmed. We knew you was coming. I got something that. I'm a changed man, okay? Let me say my farewells. I'll come away peaceable. Make it quick. You're a forgiving man. Boy. Boy, come here. Listen. Exactly as I say. You hear? Don't. Don't leave us, Pop. I ain't gonna fight you in front of my family, okay? Wanna take me? Take me. Leave my daddy alone. I feel it. Leave it. Don't look away, boy. You remember this moment. You're the man now. Be a man, boy. I sense it would be rude not to rob you. Love you get. Enough with that. Just remember what I said, boy. Go! 
Johnson. Johnson. What? Just you being real quiet back there. What the fuck? That son of a bitch. Come back. and all that could have got your neck broke <laughs> prematurely i'm done Won't be long till we're in roads. This ends now. This is roads. You're almost rid of me. I'm ready. I hope they make it quick. No oh, shit! I know how this goes. This fella on a small holding. Name's Mark Johnson. You can only run so long, son. There's your cell. You're lucky it's not a grave. I was out to buy you. Wasn't hurting no one. Maybe you weren't. Those partners of yours are a rough bunch. Go to hell. All right. That's the price for Johnson. I didn't take it. Someone else would have. You tell yourself that, bounty hunter. You ain't whiter than white. I hope your past catches up with you. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Okay. And you? Well, you got the one leg. <laughs> Been standing here since about 1870 and uh, slowly starving to death. Oh, sorry I asked. Ah, don't worry about it. Hey, say you a Yankee. I'm not sure. You know, there was a fella I used to see with you a few years back. He was, he was tall and a moody face. Yeah, Arthur. He died, I'm afraid. Well, I'm sorry to hear it. He... He saved my life. Is that so? He didn't always seem the type. No. No, he didn't. What you want? You okay? <laughs> Do I look okay? <laughs> no. You look awful. <clears throat> awful. Look at me. Useless. I wasn't born to this. I didn't deserve this. I used to be a gentleman. Jeremiah Compson. Compson Stead. Good for you. That's anything to boast about. They took everything from me. Who did? They. What did they take? My whole life. A whole way of living, a career. I stole a lot of things, but that's quite a lot to steal. Look at me here, living in the shit and the mud. I'm sorry. 
My old house. The house my grandfather built. It's all dilapidated and destroyed. Repossessed by the bank. Sorry to hear that. I was supposed to live a different life. Me too. If only I could get my old things back. Personal mementos. A watch. Old pistol. My ledger. Where's this house again? Compson's Stead. So north of Scarlet Meadows. <laughs> Banks says I can't go near it. I'm living rough over by Aris Field. If I'm ever out that way, I'll see what I can do. Time. Time is hell. By order of Judge Meredith Holden in the courts of the state of Lemoyne, we do hereby grant repossession of this property and all items herein to the Bank of Roads. M. Holden, Judge Holden, Henrietta Blackley Clerk, November 18th, 1895. You son of a bitch. indeed for your talk to our Sunday school class. <laughs> Thought you might like this drawing young Josh did of you. He wants to grow up to be just like you. Sam. June 7th, 1855. Dear sir, please accept this likeness of your family as a small token of appreciation for your assistance in the recovery of my property. Like your old pa, you're a cunning old dog and a credit to this community. <laughs> Yours, Colonel Joshua Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. This must be it. That's the old watch now. The ledger and the pistol. Dear Jeremiah, there ain't nothing here of any value. I wouldn't give you a nickel for it. Come by for a sup of whiskey anytime. Bill. Yes. I was sorry to hear of Betsy's passing. Things is easier up there for sure. April 2nd, 1870. Dear Mr. Compson, I'm afraid there's no more work for you down here at the plantation. I'm grateful for the help you've given us and to help your pappy and your pappy's pappy gave us before you. These are trying times for all of us. You are in our thoughts and prayers. Yours truly, Colonel J. Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. The Ascension Plantation. Okay, where is all this old crap? Thompson. After numerous complaints from customers and fellow employees alike, we must terminate your employment. Oh. There's just no place for a man like you at the 
Central Union Railroad Company. Fuck. <laughs> what you doing here? We found this place first. Yeah. Easy. I'm just here looking for a few things. Hmm. That old revolver yours? <laughs> Finders keepers. Ah! Son of a bitch! Yeah. Oh, oh god damn it. damn it! Come on then! Where are you going? Come on! Alright. It's ours! Stay away from the boy. He don't want this. Heck, none of us want nothing to do with you. France. Shit. What, does it smell like shit? What? I was somewhere near Rhodes when they caught me. Till the day I die, I ain't gonna forget the sound of that dog barking in my heels. But I don't suppose that day gonna be far off yet. It was 50 lashings yesterday and 50 more to come. I don't think I can take any more. Man said he was doing his job. Funny kind of employment if you ask me, but I suppose you ain't. Light's fading, so that's it for now. I do hope I live to see the end of this war and justice went out. Ugh. June 60. God. This your ledger? A list of slaves? God. Rewards. January 15th, Betsy, $17. January 18th, Louise, $12. May 18th, Wilfred, $18. May 24th, Minnie and Child, $20. The fuck? Just his stinking pistol. some respect I was respected once I had a profession you asked me to get you something there's no bringing back what I want I want my job my pride 
The respect accorded to a gentleman. What about this crap? I think it's... Don't you understand? Those bastards have changed everything. I was a good worker. I took pride in my work. They, they, they took it away. Pissed on my legacy. Oh, man, some jobs ain't for saving. And some legacies... Oh, they're for pissing on. What, what are you doing? That's that's my history. Damn you! Damn you! I still exist. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, if you had to ask me, I think he got what he deserved.